We had different pictures and shots of both Jason and Lucia all over the internet, but which one you liked the most? The one from the early leaks, or maybe those Jason and Lucia we had in the trailer, or maybe the ones we had on the poster. I feel like player customization will be far above our expectations, so let's discuss it in today's video. And we also discuss other stuff such as weapon system, comparing it with Red Dead Redemption 2-1. Feel free to subscribe to help me get to my goal. While I update you with GTA 6 content on a daily basis, thank you, let's start. If GTA San Andreas was real, so basically, what do we see on these pictures? First of all, CJ and the streets. Uh, this is, looks like the Grove Street Street 1 when you drive into uh, the Grove Street over here. There we go for Big Smoke. Uh, there also we go for CJ again. And CJ with the, the Big Smoke on the train mission so basically the screenshots are so sick and all i'm saying that i would like to see even more from other gta verses next up is gta 6 plot licked exposition rising action climax falling action resolution so that's what we have right here but basically i would i would hope i would hope it would be way better than the people expect uh, also, a leaked song from the GT6, does it fit the vibe? All I'm saying, if you want to listen to it, just go to the GT6 Best Leaks guy on the Twitter. I don't know if it's real, but this one says Soldier Dima, so this is probably Soldier Boy, and I feel like Soldier Boy would be in a GT6. I can see this guy in, um, I, I can see this guy in a GT6 because he's always the first everywhere, so why can't he be the first one in GT6 as well? Which Jason do players really want? And first of all, we had this one from Early Leaks, this one from Poster, and this one from the tra trailer. We had three different Jasons, but I feel like the player's customization will be way bigger than we expect. So Jason has a small range of proficiencies in content we've seen. Based on his uh, muscle car, the bumper sticker suggests he's a hippie and lover of the planet. He's a fan of the 80s and the band Love Fist. He also rumored to have a possible law enforcement background by some friends as maybe he only portrays a cop in a mission of some sort, if at all, who knows. But what look actually fits his potential, backstory and overall vibe? Can Rockstar still make character changes before game release, as I think number one checks the boxes, but that's just me. I'll wait for trailer 2 when they finally reveal his frontal look, and I would say yeah, that yeah, the second trailer might be about Jason himself, while the first one was about mostly Lucia. Perhaps they'll still tweak in his final appearances for now like Michael. You know what, I just realized that they did the same with Michael in trailer 1. Remember, we also seen side look at his face like Jason, but I think Jason looks its final, looks, uh, look is final unlike Michael. We've got official artwork of his front face. With the Michael, our first artwork of him was the pass control mask robbery. They also did it with Arthur in Red Redemption 2. Arthur in Red Dead Redemption 2 had official artwork, it's why the cover of the game looks nothing like him. He had a completely different appearance in a battle which spilled over to the cover art. That's true, I really wish they were cohesive with their work because as a designer and gamer it drives me insane, gives a sense of disconnect, kind of, while they alter character appearances even after trailer releases at that. Also, next up is Jason looks like like John and Arthur, like uh, with Arthur's body and John's facial structure. My theory is that Jason is a descendant of John and uh, Jack Martson, just to further tie together that Reddit and GT are in the same universe. John was also the first legacy character option for your GT online character parents, so the idea of John being related to GT protagonist isn't a foreign idea to Rockstar. All we need is confirmation on Jason's last name. John just uh, by my realistic take on why Jason's model looks like John is because just like uh, John in Red Redemption 2, at least Epilogue John, he was built off of Archer's model, and I believe this might be true for Jason's model and that his model is built of Epilogue John. Also, how did he know? I bet GT6 doesn't come out uh, till like 2025, and this post was made on December 10th, 2013. 
trailer comments posted during the first six hours on December 4th. This trailer really makes you feel like you've been waiting a third of your life for it. At this rate, I've got about three GTs left in my lifetime. 20 million in two hours is generally insane. This just shows how much aura the GT franchise has. When the last one came out, I got whooped for visiting the strip club. Now I live by myself. It's enough to make a grown man cry. I hope in the 50 year my, years my grandchildren will see the GT6 trailer. Finally, we miss those Y City sunsets. And this will be Rockstar most viewed video in its first day. Crazy hype. And it's gonna go also should be the number one trailer. Still half, uh, we basically the 170 million right now. And we need the same amount again to beat uh, the game. Uh, I, I forgot what's named, this mobile game. I haven't played it much. but. Also, uh, we are going to be the number one if we get the same exact, uh, exact amount as we have right now. But I would say the number one PC game trailer for sure. If this game does use similar weapon system to Red Redemption 2's, here is one saying I don't want to return. Red Dead Redemption 2's weapon system is generally pretty good, but I have one problem with it. Main storyline spoilers and coming. Certain missions in a story force you to uh, force you to use a specific weapon against your will and sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. For example, the mission where you raid Angela Bronte's mansion. Once you get the door uh, to the door, John asks you to break the lock. And instead of using one of your own guns to shoot it, he forces you to equip a double barrel shotgun to break it open. This wouldn't be so bad except that you can't replace it with the weapon that you dropped so you're stuck with it for the rest of the mission. Why doesn't he do it himself? Is he stupid? There are other missions that forcibly replace your weapon. And the only ones I don't hate are the one where Comb or Triskel is hanged and the Gurama chapter. Those make sense. But when the game is like, here's a gun you probably don't want to use out of nowhere, when you have something else you want to use it sucks. The other thing is worn weapons. If you pick one up, the only way to get rid of it is to buy it at the gun store. Also, the only way they'll get through this is by sticking together. And this post looks sick. I would say uh, that more people would make more post pictures like this and I would like to actually see more of them. GTA 6 needs 3-4 CDs. I love GTA 5 with all my heart, but the issue is that it only has one CD. If you look at a San Andreas, 3 CDs are smacked in front of you, and I'll be damned if it ain't some of the most fun I've had in GTA. And with the expanded technology, Rockstar could do so much with the different cities and towns, like one city having different ma uh, mannerism for the NPCs, whereas another city has entirely different mannerism. So, or maybe even accents in the bigger areas like YC and Port Gellhorn. The NPCs have pretty standard American accents, but in the more rural areas, the accent sounds more hillbilly. That's all the information we got on the GT6 so far. If you're interested in more daily content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one, and peace.